Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Sagittarius. How is everybody? Hope you're all well. See what's going on. I did put some videos up the other day for new incoming love for singles. Check it out. There may be additional messages there for you. I think I put them up on Monday. Have a look at my playlist. Sagittarius. What is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? Anything else Sagittarius needs to know? Finance and career information for Sagittarius. Clear messages and guidance, please. Sagittarius. Clear messages and guidance. I have to shuffle these this way. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? These cards are old. Sagittarius. There we go. Truth, success, teamwork, cooperation, co you're manifesting something or someone's manifesting you. I, oh my goodness, I feel as though you got somebody who's hoping to have some success with you. They could be a Gemini, maybe a Virgo. I see three of Pentacles. Something needs to be acknowledged, some kind of truth needs to be spoken here. You may be manifesting this yourself by setting yourself free. You're getting attention from other people. I feel like you're getting some attention. I think somebody is wondering why you're not acknowledging them, talking to them. <laughs> it could be the other way around. Oh, yeah, you got someone chasing after you here. <laughs> you're trying to get away and they're coming after you. Someone doesn't want you to get away here. No, look at that energy. Sag, Queen of Wands, there you go. Lovely energy. Yeah, you're pretty powerful, pretty strong. I feel like you are you could be manifesting this yourself. But I see Gemini and Aries Leo as well. I see Virgo. Sag, you're trying to get away here. You're trying to, like you're setting yourself free from something. You've ma you're manifesting something by setting yourself free. I feel as though you're wanting some kind of truth. This is going to be successful. You have a truth coming in. Uh, this is a, a win-lose. Someone's coming in here to cooperate, compromise. There's something that needs to be acknowledged. Teamwork, co cooperation, compatibility. Look at that. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Ooh, yeah, you, a Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, you're focused on your money, your career. You're focused on the future. I think there's you're not focused on a certain person. You may have a new person. I feel I feel like you got a Gemini and a Virgo or somebody with Aries or Leo energy. I see Libra here as well. Something to do with justice balance. You're I feel as though you've got someone here who sees you as just right. They find you very attractive. Okay. Beautiful. I think you've manifested this. Someone sees you as just right. You're looking for a perfect person too. You want someone who comes towards you in the right way. So I feel because you're setting yourself free, it's creating this manifestation where this person's coming after you. They could be, they very well could be a Libra. Let's see what's going on. Wow, Ace of Swords for Sagittarius. What is happening here? Let me just move these up. Swapped my camera. I moved it today, hoping to have more room. There we go. Sagittarius. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is this here? Truth, success, victory, win or lose. There we go. Yeah, you've got someone here who's been focusing on themselves. Yeah, someone wants to talk to you. They want to communicate. They probably want to know why you're not focused on them. This is someone who likely likes a lot of attention. I feel like you're busy doing your own thing and you're manifesting something. It's going to bring you success as far as career and money go here. I can see that energy. You're moving towards something successful by setting yourself free. I love it. Tell me about Three of Pentacles. Why is this here? Whew. Yeah, you're walking away from somebody here. Yeah, because you're wanting, you're moving towards something better here. And I feel like you have somebody who's wondering why you're not focused on them. They're likely an Aries, Leo, or Sag themselves. They may have Libra in their chart, or it's just someone who's like, they're looking here. This is someone who's maybe focused on themselves, trying to figure out how to have success, trying to figure out why you're not 
communicating with them, I feel. And again, it's like that reversal, this back and forth. You're doing your own thing. You're focused on you. Someone wasn't focusing on you the right way, so you set yourself free. That's how you manifest what you want. You're moving towards emotional fulfillment here uh, by walking away from somebody. I love it. Yeah, see, there you go. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, yes, look at that. You have somebody here. They may be another Sag, but I feel it could be an Aries or a Leo. Do I see any other? No. This person is definitely someone who, who there's something that needs to be acknowledged. Someone was focused on you in the wrong way. They were focused on that passionate energy. They weren't focused on you, so you walked away. You've because you're, you're, you're not somebody who settles, Sad. You just set yourself free. You go off. You have success. You meet someone else. You're focused on the future. I think you got to... Someone here thinks you're focused on someone. Okay, yeah, it's bothering this person. It's a bit of a burden. It's weighing on them. Someone didn't uh, pull their weight in a situation, a relationship. They weren't cooperating. They didn't compromise. So off you went. They might have even manipulated you a little bit, maybe tried to get you to give them a bunch of attention. <laughs> you didn't go for it. No, 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 no. Somebody here may have had a bit, bit of an ego. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you. But yeah, you got someone here who's trying to control the situation here and you walked away. Uh, by focusing on the passion too much, they were somebody. This needs to be acknowledged. There's something here that's a burden. Uh, that needs to be acknowledged. So tell me about this magician. Interesting. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So somebody wants to come back around. They've evolved, changed. They're going to try to manifest a new beginning with you. This person was indecisive in the past. They may have rushed in and rushed out. And you kind of went, no, you took a stand. And you're like, no, sorry, I'm not focusing on you. I don't see a future with you. I'm releasing myself, setting myself free. I'm being realistic. I'm being practical. So I feel like you've been focusing on your money too. You're grounded, practical. You're making some kind of plans for the future. I love this energy. Uh, I see you being very creative, very hardworking. Very brave, very strong. <laughs> All right, Sag, tell me about the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, why is this here for Sagittarius? Why is this here? There we are. Ah, yeah, so there's a bit of a crossroads here. It could be you or it could be this person. I feel like you're someone's trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, they don't want you to get away. It's at a crossroads. You may be too. You may be trying to decide which way to go. You may have had a choice between several people. I feel like you had somebody who might have been a bit immature. They were maybe someone kind of selfish, right? They're focused on themselves, focused on they weren't focused on you. They weren't they, you know, they weren't paying attention to you. It's like there's a lack of acknowledgement, I feel. Yeah, they didn't cooperate. Feel like you felt this person was the one. Like you felt there was some kind of compatibility. You found them sexy, attractive, vice versa. But you're waiting for the one. You want someone who's just right. I think there's somebody coming after you very quickly. I feel they're a little bit anxious, a little bit impatient. Could be your energy. Yeah, somebody was indecisive. They didn't know what to do. They couldn't. They were in. They spent too much time up in their head. You may have actually blocked to this person at some point, or vice versa. You might have been indecisive as well. It's in the middle. It's the heart of the reading because I see this choice, this decision. You made a decision here because maybe you couldn't see a way forward with this person. They weren't acknowledging you. They weren't cooperating. They were all about themselves being kind of immature, I feel. Might have been quite a bit younger than you, possibly. It doesn't have to be. Page of Rod, but you know, this is a someone who's kind of flirty. They focus on themselves when they communicate. Maybe they talk too much about themselves. They weren't acknowledging you or paying attention to you. <laughs> it could have been all it took. Sometimes that's all it takes for some people, right? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so you have someone here. you got a choice between a couple of people. Someone is in love. Someone wants to offer up that cup of love. They want to do things right. You want the king of cups. You want the one. You want someone who does things right. Some of you are looking for marriage, commitment, somebody who treats you fair. You want some kind of balance in your relationship, right? And you got this person. 
who's ready to offer this cup this is what you want you're not settling for anything other than that you will not see a way forward with anybody it doesn't matter how attractive they are i feel like you're really uh it's that nurturing loving caring sharing feelings sharing emotions yes queen of pentacles why is this here they're coming back around because you walked away this person is having to change their folk they're sort of looking at the situation uh, this person knows they're burdened by this they didn't do their fair share they didn't cooperate i think this person knows they were behaving immature they were too focused on them what they wanted they see the truth in the situation i think they want to talk to you and speak a truth queen of pentacles Yeah, this person has some regret, some remorse. Yeah, you got someone here, you know, having some sleepless nights. That's this person. I feel you got a, a Libra energy, uh, possibly a Gemini who's indecisive. Someone might have been indecisive about their feelings, emotions. They rushed in, they rushed out. And I feel like they regret it because you're not focused on them. You're focused on your money. You're looking into the future. Uh, you may have another person. They kind of are wondering if you do. I feel they're trying to figure that out. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Looks like you are focused on a new beginning. You're very passionate about something you're doing. You may be creating something new. I feel like you got someone who's got some regret, some remorse here. It's really bothering them. It's something, maybe something that you said to them. Maybe you told them they focus on themselves too much. They were selfish. Maybe you called them immature. <laughs> I don't know. There's some sort of truth. I see some kind of an epiphany. Maybe this person's having an epiphany or they're trying to come up with some kind of new idea to come in to release this burden. It's like the monkey on their back. It's bothering them quite a lot. You're manifesting this change. And I feel you are... As this person is coming towards you, by the time they come back around, you've kind of changed. You're now focused on something else. They're not liking it. Ace of Wands. I feel like mostly it's work. Uh, something very creative that you're putting a lot of passion and energy into. Yeah, could be a person. Oh, yeah, you got somebody here. Yeah, this is somebody here. They may be very tall. They may be lean. Uh, very attractive, sexy kind of person. This is somebody who's up in their head. Uh, they're thinking about you. Yeah, someone's up in their head thinking about you, wondering who you're focused on, what you're focused on, what you're doing, what your plans are for the future. They may be strategizing. They could have Tur Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. They may be making plans to come and talk to you. This person knows they're in their head. They have regrets for focusing too much on the uh, physical part of the connection, okay? Or they were focused on you and spoke to you that way. Maybe it was kind of immature the way they talked to you. Tell me about justice. Yeah, so there's something that ended. This ending is creating a transformation. I feel as though, yeah, I see a Scorpio energy. So you may have this person here. This person may be somebody who maybe regrets not sharing their feelings, their emotions. You may have ended things. I feel this ending is what's going to create this transformation. It's what's going to make this person change because they're thinking a lot about it. They think a lot about you, about this new beginning. They're strategizing how to get, get what they want. They're very passionate about this. They see you being passionate about something here or they think you are. Like they're, they're, This person's, uh, not only are they very strategic, I also feel they... They're in their head too much, maybe having sleepless nights. I think they need to clear their energy. They need to they want to come towards you and clear things up, talk to you. This person I feel was indecisive though. They maybe didn't tell you what their intentions were. Maybe you felt their intentions were just physical. That's all they were interested in. Maybe they gave you that impression by something they said that they weren't clear about because they're not facing you here. Interesting enough, yeah. So something is coming to an end because somebody wasn't doing right they didn't come towards you right you see they came in they didn't come in right sad you took a stand you put your foot down with this person they weren't focused on you in a healthy manner uh, you want the king of cups they regret it they know it too they were using head they were up in their head too much thinking too much blocking their feelings their emotions 
rushed in and out, didn't know what to do, didn't know how to maybe. This is somebody who maybe gets a little anxious about uh, emotional situations, maybe having some sleepless nights thinking about you. This is someone who actually sees you as marriage material. They were very comfortable with you. They regret their decision. They regret the way they behaved. I feel, yeah, they want to take a leap of faith. They're worried that, I feel like they could be have Aries in their chart. I feel this person's reflecting all on the past. And they kind of regret being in their head, thinking too much, focused on the wrong things. This person's very intelligent, very analytical. But people like this sometimes overanalyze, and that's what happens. They actually get blocked. It's like a mental block, right? They can't get out of their head. They couldn't see a way forward here. They didn't know what to do. You certainly couldn't see a way forward with this person unless they shared their feelings. So you had no choice but to take a stand and just sort of turn your back and you kind of go next, right? That's all you can do. So let's see what's going on with the death card. And I'm going to take another pass here because I feel you may have a couple people, but it could be one. Yeah, there's, you've gone through a lot of changes. You are now in this Empress energy. Look at that. This person's transformed the way they see you. There's something they didn't see about you before because they were too focused on that physical, too focused on themselves, what they wanted, the passion. They didn't see all the abundance, all the possibilities with you. They do now. You have beautiful creative energy, hardworking. You're very sexy, attractive. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. You brought a lot into this connection. I feel as though this person was all about themselves. They were acting very immature. Yeah, so you're sitting here holding yourself in high regard, and that's the change you've gone through. You've evolved. You now have all the tools you need. You have the power in this connection. Uh, this person knows it. They're having a hard time facing it, I feel. Um, it's burdening them. It's bothering them. I feel they're trying to figure out how to come in and take the lead, how to get control back to come back around. They want to. Tell me about the world. Oh uh, yeah, so there you go. There you go. You got two here. So you've got the, yeah, so you've got, I feel as though you've changed, you've moved on, you moved away from this person. Uh, I feel as though, look at that, you're single, you became single. I don't know which one's coming out first. I believe it was this one. Yeah, so I feel as though this person wants to come towards you. I think they, I think you got another person. You have a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Someone is, I'm not so sure when this person comes back around, you are single. I think they're trying to find the truth, trying to find out if you are single. I think you have everything you need. You're very comfortable in your own skin. You have all the tools. You're planning something for the future. You're taking care of yourself. You look fantastic. You're making a choice. Yeah, you, you've got a choice now. Maybe you're at a crossroads and you have a choice between two because now you're in this Empress energy. You've got more people giving you attention. And that's the ticket, right? When you focus on your money yourself, you get yourself healthy, uh, you educate yourself, whatever it is that you need to do, whatever it is that makes you feel good about you, uh, build it, to build yourself up, you become stronger and braver. Whether you want anyone in your life or not, it, it is it's good for you but it makes you uh, feel more content to be able to sit back and be the empress and let it come to you because you've changed you've gone through a transformation uh, you're doing everything right you're learning to make the right choices for yourself the right decisions this person sees you as just right i feel something they didn't see about you before they now see you as the right person they didn't see it before they were blocked they were guarded they may have been fo they might have been focused on another person and not you and didn't realize what they just lost because i feel they're reflecting on the past they're thinking about taking that leap of faith a risk to come towards you they regret not taking a risk letting you get away ooh yeah you've got a choice now i see a gemini here possibly it could be a libra you might have two gemini and a libra sag I see uh, Taurus energy. Libra's very strong here. Yeah, there's Taurus here. It could be a Taurus Gemini cusp energy in this reading. Virgo as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. 
Yeah, you got people giving you attention. I feel that I feel as though you just kind of want to be free now. Uh, but you're at a crossroads. You're not quite sure, like if you can see a way forward, like which way to go. You're a bit indecisive if you got several people coming. So I feel you're a little guarded. You're guarding your heart here. This is mostly, I feel, this person. Tell me about the Empress. Tell me about the Empress energy. Empress, why is the Empress here? Nice clean shuffle, please, with the Empress. Empress. Empress, why is the Empress here? Empress energy, please. There we go, this one. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. so you're loving yourself first. Look at that, see? And you learn to love yourself first, hold yourself in high regard. Yeah, you're not really offering your cup to anyone right now. You've transformed. Some of you feel like you just want to be free and single, but you're at a crossroads. I think you have somebody who wants to approach you. You may have a couple people. Uh, so it's putting you at a crossroads, wondering. Uh, you're not offering up your love to anybody right now. You're loving you. You're doing things right for you. You're trying to keep your balance, your emotional balance as well. Beautiful energy. Yeah, I feel this person regrets ending it. They didn't talk to you right. They didn't treat you right. They now see you as the one. Uh, they see you as loving, nurturing, caring. You know, they see you as somebody. I feel like you, if this is somebody you were with for a while or dated, you were probably nurturing and caring and very compassionate to them, regardless that they even didn't treat you right. You might have even been that way, but you're that is done now. You're no longer going to be that way. Uh, you're loving you, loving your career loving all the abundance, all the creative, creative energy that you're doing. Beautiful. Yeah, you are lovable. You still, you know, you're just at that crossroads where you should just stay single and be free. And, but it really is to do with how people approach you too. Uh, you don't want people coming towards you that are just looking for attention. Okay, I feel that, like you probably have a few people that come in that way. You need someone who reciprocates, loves you, respects you, all right, treats you like the empress that you are. Tell me about the lovers with this choice in love. Yeah, you got a couple of people. You making a choice, but you've changed. You've gone, you've evolved. Somebody wants to come back around. Somebody who there was some kind of bond, a connection. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, Cusp, a Taurus. Capricorn or a Virgo yeah you've got some you've got a choice between a couple of people you have a bond with several's maybe this is the problem you've had love has been an uphill battle for you uh, you've not not been treated right even though you're loving and compassionate you're always giving your love you're being fair you're always treating them right but they're not treating you right so you're learning to love you uh, you're respecting yourself uh, beautiful because you built yourself up you become very strong you're very capable uh, through creativity through hard work if that's your story yeah see there's that energy you're very strong very powerful now you see spirits telling you love yourself first love the things you do create make beautiful things lovely some of you are becoming healers uh, you might be getting into reiki healing naturopathic medicines uh, tinctures, candles, whatever it is. I see nature. I see creativity. I see doing things that you love for you. Uh, because it's like you've been waiting for a long time. It's been an uphill battle. Finding someone who's just right, who treats you fair, someone who will commit. Uh, so you're standing in that power, focusing on yourself, waiting for the one to come in. Uh, you are prepared for it. You are there. You still have that passion. You still have that drive. <laughs> Some of you are waiting for the one because you want to have children. You want to be married. So you're just focusing on everything else that's important to you, building yourself up. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. Some of you may have options. You may be just keeping your options open while you, uh, you, while you do you, Sag. Beautiful. Oh, I'm loving the people that this reading is for. My goodness. Yeah, you're going to have some options as you move into the new year. There's a lot of possibilities here. I see someone sees the possibilities with you. They're seeing this. They may not have told you. This is someone who didn't see clearly. They didn't see. All they seen was that passionate energy, right? 
they're seeing it clearly now. They, they're they thinking about you, wondering why they didn't take a leap of faith. They're regretting. They feel that maybe you've gone off and had a new beginning with someone else. Because I feel as though uh, you may not have wanted to take a risk with this person because you didn't see a future. There was something you didn't feel comfortable about. Uh, that was maybe bothering you, were, you were maybe a little worried that this person, because they wouldn't tell you what their intentions are, you didn't know if they would commit, I see that, so, yeah, so I feel like with the, the lover's card, this choice, you have a choice between two, you're at this crossroads, you're getting attention, trying to decide whether you should stay single, because you have everything, you're comfortable, you're comfortable in your own skin, Someone sees you that way as everything they could want. I see uh, someone who feels like you're very compatible. I feel they want to come in and cooperate. They want to acknowledge something. I feel like they haven't acknowledged it yet. I feel like it's bothering them. Maybe it's bothering you. You've got a couple people with that energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio. Who wonder if you're having a hard time finding people who pull their weight in a relationship or behave in a responsible manner. Maybe it's you that it's bothering you. It's like, why do they always come in and just focus on that physical energy, right? Because I'm seeing a lot of that, that physical. This is two people who build each other up, not tear each other down. And someone's thinking about that energy. Uh, you may have said something like that to someone. Whew. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This is somebody financially stable grounded. So we got the King and Queen of Pentacles and we have the King and Queen of Cups and the King and Queen of Wands here. So I feel as though you've, it's either you and this person have the same elements in your chart or you have a lot of same energy, which definitely creates a, this beautiful bond. Um, I feel like this person's grounded, practical. They're planning something. This person someone who's focused on their career and finances, possibly their whole life, and now they're in this energy. They're kind of used to getting what they want. This person has an ego, right? They're kind of used to getting attention because they're financially stable. Maybe you're financially stable now. You're getting a lot of attention. That kind of, it, it's sort of going back and forth. Someone's seeing you different. I feel like this person's planning to come towards you. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. They may just want to come in and approach you and ask you if you're free. <laughs> they can't see a way forward. Yeah, they're sort of on the fence because they're afraid you're going to reject them. And with your energy being on the fence here uh, at a crossroads trying to decide if you want to stay free and just go off and have fun and adventures, keep your options open, you're just not so sure which way to go if this person comes in. So I feel, yeah, you're going to just kind of wait to see what happens. You may be waiting for a particular person, but I think you're starting to... Um, think uh, or get here that you're, when this person comes, you're not going to be really sure. Because um, you want the one, right? Uh, you want your ships to come in. And you've been waiting for a long time. And I feel like as though you're getting bored waiting for someone. So you're starting to look elsewhere as well for some of you. Yeah, you're, you're definitely waiting for somebody that you have a crush on or sweet feelings or waiting for a reconciliation. You're keeping your options open. Yeah, look at that. Waiting for somebody new. But I see there is somebody coming. Somebody, you may have a new crush coming in. I see a Leo. Uh, I see this Libra energy again. I see a big decision. I feel that somebody wants to come in and start over with you. I feel they're going to... Is somebody a little emotionally blocked, indecisive about sharing their feelings? They may come in and do something nice for you to express themselves, to expose their feelings. There's a need for clarity. I see a new beginning. I see love. I see a reconciliation or somebody wanting it. But I'm not so sure here because you're not sure. You're at this crossroads. I got a feeling you might have a couple of people. Someone's gone uh, having a little bit of awakening. They're waking up to the idea of love and a new beginning. It could be you. You may need to kind of wake up you've been maybe single for a while since all this happened wow sag what is going on i feel like this is for maybe an older crowd but it doesn't have to be because i see some young people here wanting to have children ready for that change somebody wants to have a baby get pregnant ready for love you want something to nurture you have this urge to nurture and love and i feel like a lot of people are getting that i'm seeing this Urge to nurture and love something or somebody, okay? Uh, and also I see here with a, 
Uh, Queen of Wands, a lot of times, does she have a cat? Usually the Queen of Wands has a cat uh, in the picture, but you can see there's a little dog here, but that's the Fool. I think your person, maybe, some of you may have a Le uh, an Aries, another Sag, or a Leo. I see a lot of fire. Fire and air, two people who build each other up. That could be the connection, the bond you have with this person that is Earth in their chart. If you've got Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you see there's definitely a very, a uh, lot of chemistry between you and somebody, probably for those reasons. Oh, my dog's having a little dream. <laughs> All right, tell me about the King of Cups. What is this person's intentions? We'll wrap this up. Yeah, so someone feels like there's no hope. They feel like they're not good enough. Someone is lonely. Yeah, you got someone who's missing you and they're lonely. Uh, they're looking for love. Make sure somebody comes towards you. Uh, that doesn't offer up love just because they want some attention. So keep your uh, self ready for that because I don't think you're interested in that. No, there's no way forward. You might be lonely too and looking for love, wanting someone to love and nurture you because maybe it's been a long time. Maybe you're waking up to the idea. Okay, because that's a healing. Once you release something, let it go. You kind of wake up with judgment, healed and reborn, ready, right? Ready for a new beginning. It's very possible you are, or it's the person coming towards you. So I'm just going to have one more card here on this Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here? There we go. Yeah, so you can't see a way forward with somebody. Yeah, you're focused on the future. You're turning your back on someone. You've been focusing on your money, your career, your finances, Sag. Spirit's telling you to just be grounded. Take your time. Look at the details. Look, plan for the future. Spirit wants you to plan financially for the future right now. Okay? Concentrate on that. Don't lose focus on that because you start focusing on love too. Find that balance. All right? Do things right. Keep things balanced. I feel like you will. I do feel you think about that. Especially if you've been single and kind of used to being alone and working, finding that balance. But yeah, you will. Someone sees you as just right. They want to come towards you. They see the possibilities. You're just keeping your options open for now. You do have people coming. Uh, it's just a matter of who comes in right. Could be a Scorpio uh, with Libra in their chart. Could be, could end things with a Scorpio. You may have a Scorpio here that you're turning your back on that's immature. This could be this person here. You may be having an aha moment. They're too immature. They're too focused on the passion. You may be releasing that person. You may have other people coming around. I see a lot of change. Oh, yeah. So I see a Taurus. Look at that. As soon as that came out, I see a Taurus here when I said that coming back around. Somebody may be changing their mind about commitment and marriage, their belief traditions, the way they conduct themselves in their relationship. It's either you or it's all of you. <laughs> I think, you know, this last year, a lot of people are kind of changing their traditions, belief, the way they conduct themselves. They're seeing things different. A lot of people have been kind of uh, doing a lot of soul searching, doing things, and it's been good for a lot of people. But I feel like it's time now to start focusing on the future. It's time to, uh, I see this healing. I see this judgment, jumping up here, waking up. Hey, I'm ready, I'm awake, let's go and the sun shining. So I see new love, new energy. I see you being happy. I see you getting what you want. Yeah, you're going to have offers. You're waiting for the right person. You want commitment and marriage, or you're just going to continue to concentrate on your work and yourself. Yeah, you want a soulmate. You want that mental and emotional connection. You need someone who connects like that first. That's what you're waiting for is the one, that one person who's more interested in that first before there's that physical, because you've had the physical. And I feel like you want somebody, I feel like you want someone that you're just comfortable with. It's easy, where it's not a lot of work, because uh, I feel you've done a lot. You've been the one to do all the work in your relationships, and you're kind of done with it now. You want a responsible, reliable partner. So I wish you the best. I'm going to pull a couple of cards out for the end and we'll wrap this up. Sag, wow, lovely reading. Try not to stress if it's you, if you have regrets. Maybe you took a, a risk with somebody at one time, even though they didn't tell you their intentions and then it ended up being a physical connection. It ended, but that ending may have transformed you. Okay, it may have created a change within yourself. If that hasn't happened, you may go through that, but this reading will help you see what's happening. You'll zoom through it faster, all right? 
Sag, here we go. Yeah, take the lead. Yeah, well, you are the leader in your own life. Don't forget that. But you have someone who wants to come in and they want to come in and take the lead. You're looking for a leader. You want someone who's responsible, reliable, someone who's a good partner. Uh, you want someone compatible that you're comfortable with. Yeah, there's a healing here. Breaking free of some change. Lovely. Somebody's coming back around here healed. They're breaking free of some kind of habit, tradition, and behavior. The way they conduct themselves, they're changing that. Somebody's evolving. I love that energy. It's you. Could be you. Chains, breaking free of those chains, those things that hold you back. Could be the, I feel like it's the person coming in, but it could be yourself. It's in the center. Yeah, something is, look at that, blossoming and growing. I think some of you are waking up to love again. The ones of you who have been single, you're thinking about partnership, relationships. Something is growing. You can probably feel it. Uh, you are going to blossom if you go through this energy. Like, I see beautiful connection. I see uh, two people that can see the possibilities. So you're having options. You may have a few people you connect with, but you're waiting for a particular person. I think you're quite picky, Sag. Uh, maybe some of you are at that age where you're quite particular. <laughs> I kind of see that. Anyone who doesn't hold you in high regard, it's over before it goes anywhere. Okay, because you're looking for someone right. You're no longer wasting time. So yeah, some of you are lonely. You're ready for, waiting for something to blossom, something to grow. I think there's someone here that's lonely, that someone that could be missing you, or this could be a person who's lonely. They're thinking about love, thinking it's time, okay? Feeling loved up. You may connect with this person. I see two cups, the king and queen of cups here. So I feel it's very possible you've got a few people, possibly an ex or two, uh, people get like that, especially with the way the world's been going. A lot of people are reaching out to people. They've gone through a lot of soul searching and now seeing things different. They've learned from their mistakes. Yeah, so Spirit says to manifest. Yeah, I think you got possibly a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Gemini Taurus cusp, uh, a Libra, <laughs> uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Lead, Sag. It could be anybody. Yeah, you got the whole bunch here. You got options. Uh, you're you're not settling, okay? You're looking for a soulmate, and that's what I feel you're going to get if you can do this, if you can handle it, all right? All the best, Saj. Bye for now.